So hello guys, uh, welcome to another video. So in this video, we are going to see how to use Pixlr. As you know, Pixlr is a uh, free online uh, photo editor and uh, you can also generate AI images and also you can uh, uh, get more design tools. So as we uh, come down, so as you can see, uh, there is a AI image generator and you can also remove background and you can also remove object. Uh, you can create college maker crop image template library so uh pixelar is a kind of a free online photo editor but but uh so guys uh in this video we are we are gonna use the ai image generator of pixelar so uh at first we are gonna create an image then uh we're gonna uh edit some uh, images uh, with this tool so at first we are going to go to the AI image generator so just I just like that so as you can see I uh, uh, there is a full setup and uh, all you have to do a uh, put a prompt so uh, there is already a prompt and it says teenagers studying in a library of Congress photo cyberpunk sharp focus low angle show so I'm gonna add a uh, comma and I'm gonna add uh, portrait and modernistic and uh, you, you can choose uh, so guys you can choose any of the style any of the output and any of the attributes so uh, I'm gonna uh, add some uh, something like expressive and dramatic okay so I uh, so the prompt says teenager studying in the library of Congress photo cyberpunk sharp focus low angle show portrait modernist and expensive time so let's see uh, uh, what this AI generator will uh, bring to this prompt so I'm gonna hit the generator so just generate So, so guys, as you can see, uh, this is really great, and and as you, you can see, I have just added some uh, few styles like it. Uh, so the prompt was uh, the so the prompt was teenager standing in the library of Congress photo cyberpunk share focus, and as you, you can see, uh, you can also so guys, this is a AI image. Can you delete this? And it almost looking a uh, real picture to me so uh, with these two version of images I like this version more so I'm gonna open it so you can also open it in a another uh, pixel editor so after that uh, I'm gonna add some filters so I'm gonna see a uh, what uh, filter will uh, so you can change some color as you can see uh, you can change the color uh, you can change the saturation so i'm gonna keep this in zero and you can add a temperature and after that so uh if you want uh, you can uh, reduce the uh, tint and uh, you can check uh, which color you like the most and uh, you can also add a hue so i'm gonna make this zero and there is also option a uh, brightness contrast exposure so i'm gonna take the highlight highlight i'm gonna make this uh, minus zero so i'm gonna hit apply and adjust and filters uh, you can also get some uh, uh, you can also apply for auto uh, you can also be in white black and white and this is the pop so guys Overall, uh, Pixlr is a uh, kind of a good. Uh, you can uh, generate images. So after you edit your image, to just so just hit save and uh, just uh, select your quality. I am I am selecting 100% and I'm gonna press the save as. So uh, you can save anywhere in your computer. So 
I'm not done yet. I'm gonna uh, create some more. So uh, there is also an option of variation. So you can create of, uh, of the same person of cherry. Uh, so guys, um, so guys, uh, now we have come to the dashboard. So now I'm gonna search a different prompt. Like uh, I have a prompt saved here, and uh, I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it. So the prompt prompt is Thor, the God of Thunder, portrait Cyberpunk Unreal Engine. So guys, I'm gonna see all of the Marvel characters and how AI generate those characters. So uh, I'm gonna add. Uh, 4K cinematic shot and hi highly detailed uh, and I always pick uh, expensive so I want expensive look uh, in it and uh, it's really, really smooth so I want this look okay so I just give a prompt thought that God of Thunder portrait cyberpunk unreal engine 4K okay um, Thor God of Thunder in as guard. So I have a problem with, with my keyboard. Okay, Thor the God of Thunder in Asgard with Loki. So I remember that uh, brother. So I just uh, give a problem Thor. The God of Thunder in Asgard with Loki portrait cyberpunk real engine. So I'm gonna hit generate. Let's see what happened. Oh guys okay, uh so guys actually uh the AI created the Thor uh very smoothly but in the on other hand, uh, they, they also show a um, Loki, but uh, Thor looking uh, really thin. So I'm gonna go for this version. So I'm gonna open it. So as you as you can see, guys, AI just generated me a new Thor. So uh, you can uh, uh, you can edit. Uh, so guys, uh, you can edit this photo if you want. So uh, you can add some detail or sh sharpness. So I'm gonna add a uh, sharp, uh, little sharp, and I'm gonna add some light exposure. And I'm gonna add a simple con contrast and highlight. I'm gonna reduce the highlight uh, level. So I am gonna hit apply. So guys, as you, you can see, I have just created a, a new uh, Thor, uh, God of Thunder. So I'm gonna uh, hit save. So I'm gonna uh, select the quality 100 and I'm gonna save. It. So save. Type any uh, file name and save. So let's see what I, I have just saved. So guys, as you can see, my image is red, ready, and uh, it's uh, the resolution of the image is uh, 512 into 512. But I want the uh, okay. It's so the further I'm gonna uh, add it uh, 1000, 1000 into 1000. It's not happening. Okay. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna if I'm gonna uh, be doing something. Okay, just replace it. So our file is saved. So I'm gonna see how now it's looking. It's quite looking good. So guys, as here you, you can see, I have just uh, generated a new part. So I'm gonna go again, and I'm gonna so so. Whenever you come to the dashboard, you always uh, see a uh, a prompt a, is already here. So this is the best part of this software. So it says uh, Albert Einstein oil painting, oil painting uh, cinematic shot. So I don't need it. I'm 
gonna create the Iron Man. So let's see how this gonna use to Iron Man. So I'm gonna cut the Thor and I'm gonna say Iron Man. So again, I have that A problem. Sorry, guys. Iron Man 4K. Iron Man in his lab. with his own armor Iron Man in his lab with his okay all armor okay that just says well Iron Man in his lab with his own suits and I, I needed a 4K portrait cyber streaming and I want expensive and highly detailed cinematic shot and smooth and modernist. Okay. Um, okay. That's it. So let's just generate. So I'm gonna hit again. Let's see what happened. Oh, that's that's really really awesome. So guys uh as you can see, AI yeah, just created me a new Tony Stark. So I don't like this uh, uh, Tony Stark, but uh, this is really cool. Uh, if we, uh, if I, so guys, as you can see, you can also get the option of variation. So if you want, a, if you want more variation of those images, so I want suppose more variation of this image. So I'm gonna uh, take the variation button and let's see oh this one is uh, really cool guys so if i open this oh that's really good and uh, if you want to uh, if you want to add some effects so if uh, there is a ok effect ok uh, you, you can also add some air effects So now, uh, if you want to make this uh, black and white or pop or auto, so guys, uh, as you, you can see, uh, you can uh, create your own uh, Marvel characters and. Uh, so I have created this and I have created this so I'm gonna hit save and uh, let's just select uh, PNG okay so just uh, I don't like uh, PNG okay so just save it so I So guys, as you, you can see, uh, with uh, Pixel, uh, you can create unlimited of uh, AI images and their uh, variation. So I have already clicked the variation, but uh, so as you, you can see, it created another uh, variation on this uh, Tony Stark. So this is a new Tony Stark of this. Uh, uh, from this AI so guys thank you so much in this video I have just showed you how you can use pixel X and create your own AI uh, generated in images and and you can also create your image uh, you can also uh, edit and uh, so guys, as again you can see uh, you can see all your uh, creation are uh, in the uh, dashboard section so you can uh, go for pixel x uh, you can create edit and as uh, uh, save your images with very fast and very easy thank you so much